This illusion is called Dreams Take Flight or How Dreams Take Flight. Thoughts come to life. If you're new, illusions are what I call my paintings, seeing as how I am scarred by illusion. It's only fitting. Dreams Take Flight came about in the flood of ideas I mentioned before while I was watching Nope. Due to my poor placement skills, the figure appears to be ready to run off the page, but I think it works in my favor, conveying the message with urgency, and that is necessity. I've also, on that note, been meaning to say for several videos now, I never use reference. I think I've implied it, but I've never said it, so the rendering of the anatomy in my paintings is something I'm rather proud of, and this is one, along with a bunch now, that reads clearly as a figure like you can almost like the musculature and like it's just i'm really proud of it just had to say that from the spidery fingers to the head bobbing in the air behind the figure there's this continuous motion this liveliness that i just i love being able to capture the body is driven to act on perhaps instinct its arms outstretched the fingers twitching and poised to seize whatever it crosses Although its palms can't hold much, it runs through a desolate void. The head, high in the air, follows along, staring into a cloudless atmosphere. But there is so much to dream about. Is the figure surrendering itself to the body's instincts? Fight or flight? Is flight a form of fight? Alternatively, is the body just going through the motions of life, doing just enough to survive? Thoughts. A bit of Dog Days by Florence and the Machine and Rootless by Marina would definitely fit this. And the quote, well, quotes, from Persian Girls, a novel by Nahid Rachelin, I believe her name is. It's sort of auto, it's sort of autobiographical. The quote is, it's a way of coping with all that's lacking in this life. Additionally, to juxtapose something mystical with the ordinary. The second was said by her college roommate, I believe the first was by her sister, who, spoiler, I guess, dies later on in the book. I think this painting really is a paragon of both of those quotes, and maybe those two songs I mentioned. I like to do that a lot, correlate everything into one. And the thing is, I read that book back in like 2014, maybe 2015, and it's just something that has really deeply affected me and has stayed with me for so long because those sentiments are just like, they're so similar to something like of my own. Anyway, I'd love to hear what your thoughts or feelings are about this painting, if you have any at all, or watch this point. I really appreciate you. So if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.